all weekly anime news to talk about. More of like giving my take on the matter and then going over this tweet and everything. Um, but yeah, more on my opinion on what I think. I, I feel like it's going to happen. So let's get into it. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw, but I did talk about recently, and maybe I think it was like a few weeks ago, about this Twitter page that kind of popped out of nowhere, DBS2019-1. They came out of literally nowhere, and they apparently have sources on the inside that are giving them information as to the upcoming Dragon Ball Super return anime, whatever the hell it is, right? And so if you want to just kind of, if, if you guys aren't familiar with, with this account, this is the account that actually first came out um, in saying that there was a, there's supposed to be a trailer or some sort of announcement this month in November at the time of this recording for whatever project is coming next. Now, funny enough, I did bring this up on the Full Power Podcast, so if you're not subscribed over there, go ahead and check us out. We literally talk a lot of mainly Dragon Ball, but we're, we're starting to trickle in a lot more anime as well. We talked about that this kind of does line up because there's no scheduled plan or showing for Dragon Ball at Jump Festa, which would be the following month from now. So I figured that was kind of interesting, and if this person is right, then I guess we'll obviously we'll take everything with a grain of salt, especially if it's on some rumor type of you know information. But uh, we'll see. It kind of lines up with some other reporters, leakers that have also seemingly been on the inside. But they basically say that a new Dragon Ball Weekly anime will be announced roughly a month from now. To the best of my knowledge, this is not a direct continuation of Dragon Ball Super or an adaptation of the Dragon Ball Super manga. This is a new thing. What do I think about this? If it's not anything that's continuing, right? If it's not a direct continuation of Dragon Ball Super or an adaptation of the Dragon Ball Super manga, if it's a brand new thing, then that literally can mean a few things. So one of the first things that comes to mind for me is that, I mean, this is something that we've wanted for a long time now, and that's simply put, to continue where the story originally left off at the end of Z, right? We want to get to that point. It's been a long time coming, and obviously, like, this is nothing new. I'm sure I speak for a lot of us when I say that we need end of Z material. We want to get past that point so that way we don't have to, you know, worry about what they gonna, what are they going to do with retconning GT or what things are they going to take from GT or are they going to do GT? Or like, what you know, we're... A lot of this discussion has actually been had over on the Full Power Podcast, which, you know, you can see the shortened video discussions right here on this channel if you miss out or if you just can't sit for an hour long. But the point is, is we as fans have been waiting for a very long time, longer than even when Super decided to come back around because, you know, Super were coming back back in like 2016. It was a great time for fans. I mean, listen, I... <laughs> You already know, some of y'all remember the good old days when we did Super Reactions every freaking week, and it was a lot of fun. But the problem is that Super takes place within this 10-year gap. So that much is already known a lot. I'm sure that's that's common knowledge at this point. If it's something new, the first thing I really need it to be is something that is actually continuing from End of Z going forward. I need that. First and foremost, the other thing that I can possibly see this uh, pertaining to could be that they actually decide to maybe take perspectives of other characters in the Dragon Ball universe and maybe pick up where they ever left off at whatever point in the story just to give the viewer more to digest, to absorb, whatever. Um, and that could be kind of cool. Now, I don't know if this is going to really, you know, mean anything or whatever, but I think that this could be a good opportunity to give us some some time and shine on characters that are also, like, not maybe not so much fan favorites, but characters and plot points or perspectives that we haven't really seen all that much of or that fans actually just want to see more of. 
And the one thing I can think of is like Universe Six Saiyans. I don't know how many times I've seen in comments on here that people want to see more Universe Six Saiyans. And I, I mean, yeah, I do too. I would love to see the progression of Kefla, uh, of 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 Kaba. I want to see if they're able to continue their training. If they have anything going on, maybe they learn a little bit more of their own lore within the Saiyans over there on Universe Six. I mean, what's going on with the Pride Troopers? What's going on with Jiren over at Universe Eleven? You know, what hap What about, like, Universe 10? Like, with, with Goasu and that whole situation that took place. I mean, what if, what if they even gave us a glimpse as to what Trunks is up to? Because the last time we checked on Trunks, this man is in another universe with another Trunks. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but, yeah, that's literally what happened at the end of Goku Black Arc. So, there's a lot of things, a lot of directions they could take it in. Um, I obviously... Feel like though the biggest thing I mean everybody wants this John to just continue I know that if they do anything like on the side or anything like of this nature yeah it's gonna be nice to finally get something of you know some official newness if that even makes sense because right now I mean we don't even have the manga right so realistically the only thing that's keeping us afloat is ourselves the fa like literally the fans constantly carrying this IP on, on on our backs, right? We got fans working on upscaling and essentially remastering Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and GT, okay? Shout out to the Geekdom, go over there. He's been showing hella episodes on his Twitch channel, okay? Like, we are can, we are entertaining ourselves because we don't have nothing official. We're not, no, listen, I know some of y'all like Super Dragon Ball Heroes, okay? And, and that's fair, okay? It's a game. It, it has its own anime adaptation, which is still getting episodes, which is crazy to me, but that's how successful that is, right? But then at the same time, that's it. Outside, if you, unless you're a legend or a Dokkan player, you don't have anything to look forward to, right? So what is people also doing? Fanworks. Fanworks has always been the go-to for whenever we're in a drought period, the Dragon Ball drought, the DBD again, right? As long, at least it's not as bad as when it was before Super even was a thing, before Battle of Gods came out. But yo, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, they need to stop playing. All right, they whatever this is, and like, and I'm, I hope, I pray that this rumor is true, and I hope that this this announcement or whatever happens actually happens because the last time this account tweeted they said that this month we were getting something as, as an announcement a trailer whatever's gonna happen now they're saying that the we the new weekly anime okay so this is not even just some some you know part-time stuff like this is a weekly anime is gonna get announced roughly a month from now which guess what that's jump festa so maybe they are going to report something at Jump Festa. I mean, I don't know how you're going to have Goku on the freaking cover of the Jump Festa ad and not have nothing planned for Dragon Ball. <laughs> makes no sense. Okay? Makes no sense at all. So, um, again, it's not a, apparently it's not a direct continuation of Dragon Ball Super, and it's not an adaptation of the manga. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just hope that also, at the same time, they do announce when the manga's coming back, because that at least should be continuing right now. I, I will have my gripes with them forever for so many different things, but it's just like, dude, remember guys, keep in mind, the manga was supposed to stay afloat during the time, especially while the anime was not on, okay? We were supposed, that was the whole intention behind the manga. The manga was supposed to fill any sort of like void that the anime was leaving behind because there was obviously at a point, it was we had the anime and the manga. Right? Now the anime stopped. The manga kept going. The manga kept, hasn't stopped in since the last chapter. 77, right? 87? Eight, I get the numbers flipped, right? But, you know, obviously we had the superhero movie. We had Broly. But look at the gap between Broly and superhero. Broly came out in 2018 in Japan. 2019 in America. Superhero came out literally this year. June in Japan. Still mad about that. And then in August for us in America. Like, yo, we were, we're working with four to three years, three to four years difference between movies. And the anime still hasn't returned. This, this shit better be true. It better be accurate. And honestly, at this point, at this rate, 
I, I don't want to say I don't care what it is, but you guys can feel the frustration and the angst, the freak. Like I'm, dude, I, I I'm, I'm telling you, I, I know I speak for a lot of y'all when I'm telling, when I'm saying this, is that we, we, they need, they need to, they need to give us this John back already. Okay, they really do. So, those are my thoughts. I could keep rambling, but you know, I'll save that for the, for the podcast. And uh, if there's any other updates that come out between now and whenever this actually just drop, uh, feel, I'll, I'll definitely be. You know, dropping the the news updates and my thoughts and whatnot. But let me know you, what you guys think this is in the comments below. And if there's any other, if there's any good responses, I might bring it up on the podcast or I'll just make another video here. So again, make sure you're liking, sharing, subscribing here. Also, doing that on the Full Power Podcast channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, and once we do hit that, we're actually gonna be doing a live stream with Geekdom over there on the Full Power Podcast, and it'll probably be like a two hour special or something like that. So don't forget to subscribe over there just like you are here if you haven't already and make sure you gotta take care of yourself may the power protect you blog load right here on this channel stay safe take me stay aside i'll see you guys